Hey everybody, how's it going? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're going to be going over how to install the Kanta GTK theme. So if you want to know what Kanta looks like before we get started, it is a GTK theme that is based on the material design and it's really nice. I really like the way it looks. Um, so we're going to get started. Please check the description as we go over how to get all of this stuff. So to start off, you're going to want to get clone the files here. I already have that done, so I'm not going to do that. But once you've got it cloned, you can just CD into the directory, use ls, and then you can just run the install.sh to install it. Now this will install directly to my home folder. If I run it as a regular user or if I run it as sudo, it will run like that. So once that's installed, you need to enable it. So I'm using Cinnamon, which is a desktop that I've used for years because it's reliable, it doesn't crash, and I just prefer it. But uh, it's not gonna look the best on Cinnamon because Cinnamon's shell doesn't have support for Kanta for whatever reason. But that being said, it still looks pretty nice. And uh, if you check the link in the description, we have links to all of the different desktop environments that are GTK based that you can learn how to get this theme working. But for Cinnamon, you would just click you would just right click then click themes from here you can set the window border to Kanta or any of the other choices controls same thing Kanta or any of the other choices um, and then from here like I said because you need to have a special cinnamon theme there isn't unfortunately a theme for that but it still looks nice and if you open up the browser here the file browser we can look through and we can change the different controls and uh, overall it's very nice I really like it uh, again I would be more inclined to use it if it was more compatible with my desktop environment but that being said if you're interested please check the description of this video and learn how to get this working on your GNOME desktop your XFCE desktop or whatever anyways guys this is Derek and I will see you in the next video <laughs> 